Hello and welcome to Summoner Herald, episode 2. So this time we're gonna scooch me over here. Ha! Our first bit of news isn't actually esports related, but it's one of the most hilarious things I've ever seen. A weak spot in the pvp.net coding allowed a certain hacking program to take advantage of it. A link about how it was actually done is in the description, but the gist of it is that it allowed people to put more than the maximum number of mastery points into a single mastery. Most stats in the game are somehow capped, but there's one that isn't. Summoner Spell Cooldown Reduction. The hack allowed the players to put enough points into the final utility mastery to give their summoner spells 105% CDR. The results? Well, you just watch. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. The reason this was a big problem was people were doing it in ranked, some people taking their elo from around 1300 all the way to 2k in a matter of hours. Riot, however, was able to jump on it and by that evening the issue was patched. The patch was accompanied by a rather angry forum post by Tamat denouncing the practice of hacking. So the GESL tournament I was talking about last week, the one that's happening the same weekend as DreamHack, well they've announced four of the eight invited teams. One of them I've never heard of, the Green Forest? but the others are CLG, TSM, and Curse. At this point, I think the GESL could be said to have... What's it called? Balls of Steel. Thank you, Duke Nukem. Now, if any of those four teams qualify for the DreamHack tournament, well, don't say I didn't warn you. So in case you didn't notice, the Season 2 Finals have been announced to be held on October 13th in Los Angeles, California. As opposed to, you know, the other Los Angeles. The prize pool has been set at $5 million at... Wait, what? What the f- So apparently that five million dollars wasn't a typo. Seriously, did that many people buy the Nunu bot skin? The Curse Reign of Gaming Invitational is already underway, and though it's still in the first round, there have already been some surprising events. Both Absolute Legends and AAA, who were mentioned last week, were able to make it through the first round. On the other hand, CLGEU has already been knocked out by a team I've never heard of named Teamless. From what I can tell, Teamless is actually a combination between some of the members from Western Wolves and some other ex-members of Absolute Legends, including Anguish. I think now would be a good time to start watching them, because if they do well in this tournament, there may be a sponsorship in their future. The first IPL 5 qualifiers are underway. Historically, IPL has been home to some of the most anticipation and the most viewers. I highly doubt that this one will be an exception. Nearly all of the most important teams will be in this tournament, and it's rare to see them all in one place at the same time. There will be two separate brackets, one for North America and one for Europe. It'll be going on for the next two weeks, and I would highly recommend watching this tournament. And that's about all I've got for this week. So let's see Singed one more time. And I'll see you next time on the Summoner Herald. I paused there, Los Angeles. <laughs>